tracks this morning, I believe, and Jamie gave you Taylor. S excuse me, everyone. Um, and Jamie gave you some updates about the week on the leopards. Um, we were tracking some leopards and we were very fortunate to find Husana and Zongila, Karula's two cubs. Uh, this is an absolute privilege to see them because last time I was here, I believe it was around June 2016. Um, I was privileged enough just to have a glimpse of these two cubs and that was when they were still tiny. Um, well, we've been watching them this morning and uh, Husana has been trying to catch some comb ducks in the river, or well, in the little pan which they are at, um, and I don't think it's been going very successful for him. So, you can see the trying to find the comb duck in the area there. You can see VMs trying to forming. There we go. So you can see that's the little pan which um, Husana has been paying close, close attention to. Right. Now these cubs are also um, a fairly good age. This is when the mother will sometimes leave them by themselves. They are fairly much capable of looking after themselves. Um, but regarding to hunting, uh, they still need to rely on the mother from time to time. So they need to rely on their mother from time to time as they still need to develop um, some specific hunting skills. It's mainly you'll find it with the males. They might be a bit impatient sometimes and that's where they will give themselves away uh, from the animal which they might be stalking. It might be something smaller, something such as a warthog, uh, which I believe Tyler have been talking about this morning, um, or something like a smaller impala or even a steenbuck or so. Um, it's throughout the years as a, le as a leopard grow and learn how to hunt, they also learn those patient skills. Um, it is something that usually develops. You can see uh, Hussan is uh, grooming himself a little bit there. And uh, believe it or not, leopards have got a really rough tongue. Um, and this basically not only helps to groom themselves and get l rid of all of the ectoparasites or from the loose fur, um, but it also, when they are feeding, um, it also helps to loosen the skin from bones. So that rough skin is actually, on the tongue, is actually enough to lick the flesh or the skin of a human's finger. Can you believe it? Oh, wow. Let's look at the two over there. Yeah, I see that, uh, this is an absolute privilege to see them. I wanna, I'd like to try and hear from you viewers. I know a lot of you have been uh, watching Wild Earth for quite a long time, or Safari Live. Um, can you tell me how old uh, Husana and Zongile is at the moment? I can't quite remember. So, Husana and Zungile, I think, are a bit more interested in the comb ducks. They would definitely try the opportunity as they are still young cubs and uh, they 
still learning and what is the appropriate food for them to hunt. But uh, they will probably, once they get an opportunity to hunt these comb ducks, they will. Um, but also these comb ducks are clever enough to stay in the water. You know, leopards aren't very keen on water. However, I have seen them hunting in water and in rivers before. Um, but that is usually a very, very rare sighting, which one will find. Um, also, with a comb duck, there's quite a lot of feathers, um, which these cubs will be capable of pulling out. But then it's also a difficulty that if they do swallow some of those feathers, um, that they might uh, suffocate. It might be a little bit tricky to uh, swallow. You can see it seems like they've lost interest in the comb ducks. Miss Sky, uh, thank you very much for uh, letting me know about the ages of uh, Husana and Sungile. Apparently they are 17 months old. Um, now that is usually... Sorry, guys, my apologies. Uh, 13 months, which is one year and one month old. Um, now it's usually in general that the mother will leave her cubs by the age of 18 months and they will be completely by themselves. But it also depends from one situation to the other. Uh, sometimes females might leave a little bit earlier uh, than usual and the male will usually uh, tend to stick around a little bit longer with the mom, so most like mommy's little boy.